Hey, superstars, we've got something a little different today. I've reached a milestone with my T206 uh, Cleveland Naps team set, and I'm pretty excited about it. So I wanted to do a little showcase and tell you why this set is so special to me. I originally collected cards from 88 to 93, and during that time, I would often read tales of the T206 Honus Wagner, the most famous and expensive baseball card ever made. Um, the 52 Mantle was pretty pretty famous too, but I felt like the Wagner was just a lot more mythical. Uh, but you know, girls in high school and art school happened, and even though I still love baseball, I didn't have much interest in cardboard again until 2018. So I was at the Detroit Institute of Art in July of that year, we had gone to see a very cool Star Wars exhibit. But when we got there, another exhibit called Play Ball piqued my interest. Um, in a small dark room, uh, they had a complete set of the T206 cards, including old Honus. But uh, as neat as it was to finally see a T206 Honus Wagner in person, the other cards were just so stunning. Um, when we got home the next day, I hopped onto eBay just out of curiosity to see what some of these cards were selling for. And wouldn't you know it, I bought five of them. They were the first baseball cards I had purchased in 25 years, and I decided to go after the entire T206 Cleveland Naps team set. So there is our friend, Mr. Bunny. He's going to help us out. I'm going to show you my collection in the order that I acquired it, and I'll show you what I paid. I'm not trying to show off at all. I just, I just, I just know some of you are kind of curious. So here's the original five. Uh, shortstop Neil Ball. Third baseman Bill Bradley. This is one of two cards of his in the set. Catcher Ted Easterly. I really love that red. Uh, pitcher Heine Berger, which I like his name. It's kind of like Butt Burger. And pitcher Bob Rhodes. This is also the first of his two cards in the set. Here is infielder George Pering. And now, uh, about a week later, I discovered that the National just so happened to be in Cleveland. I had no idea that the National was even a thing at this point in my collecting journey. And this was still the only thing I was collecting at this point. So I drove over there and I found catcher J.J. Clark and right fielder Wilbur Good. I really wasn't there very long, but with as massive as the National is, I really started to take note of the other cards that would be fun to collect. Okay, here is my first Hall of Famer pitcher, Addy Joss. This is his first of two cards, and at this point, I did start collecting the 53 Bowman Cleveland Indians team set, too. Here is my first big boy card, Cy Young, bare hand. He has three cards in the set, and this is the only one I have so far. Uh, pitcher Glenn Liebhart was a birthday gift. Center fielder Joe Birmingham. I felt like this one was really tough to find a nice one, but I think I found a good one. This one's really cool. Outfielder Bill Hinchman. This was a Christmas gift. Uh, third baseman Bill Bradley. This is his second of two cards. Here is first baseman George Stovall portrait, his second of two cards. And Bob Rhodes, his second of two cards. I went to the National in Chicago in 2019 with the goal of adding another Hall of Famer to the set. And I achieved that with right fielder Elmer Flick. I felt like I got a great deal on this one. And also at the National, I bought infielder Terry Turner. This one is my favorite one that I own so far. Addy Joss Portrait, his second of two cards in the set. And here is first baseman George Stovall, his second of two cards in the set. I didn't add to the collection at all in 2020. I was kind of saving up for some of the big boy cards I had left on the list. But uh, this week I finally found the team's namesake, second baseman Napoleon Lajouet. So now I have at least one of every player on the team. There are two more Cy Youngs and two more Lajouets to find, but that might take a few years. So I thought I'd share these with you today.
So it was these cards that reignited my cardboard addiction. It's almost like I started out with heroin and moved on to pot. Um, it went from collecting T206 to 53 Bowman to 50 to 52 Bowman to every major release uh, Indians card ever made to um, autographs from every Indians player. So I've got way, way too many projects now. And uh, you guys are a bunch of enablers, but I'm having a blast and I'm so glad I went to the DIA to see some Star Wars costumes. Uh, I would love to hear about your passion projects like this. Do you have one that sort of trumps everything else? Uh, let me know down below and thanks for watching guys.